August, 1910. It was on that fateful night, in this very alley, that Martin Luther King Jr. was mugged by FDR. On today's episode of History, we examine this fateful encounter. Join us. History! 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 Hi, I'm John Doe. And on these very streets, 25 years ago, the great Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was brutally murdered and stabbed by FDR. And now, let's discover the truth of the matter. The truth of this thing. Our first lead is Gerald Frigentush, the grandson of Bob Frigentush. He was there on that night, and he witnessed that horrific crime. Well, hello, Gerald. Hello, John. So, I heard you were wondering what my grandfather saw that night. Yeah, so if you could just tell us, and the viewers at home, exactly what your grandpa saw. So, actually, I can just get right now. And... Ah! It's After that, he began to act erratic and started to tear his underwear off. I had to get out of there, but I had to find more answers. I knew it! Evidence of a struggle. The trail is fresh. In light of this new evidence, I estimate that the mugging happened two weeks ago. Maybe four days. Oh, I've been a fool! The mugging is happening right now! <gasps> I'm a midget. August, 1910. It was on that fateful night, in this very alley, that Martin Luther King Jr. was brutally stabbed and mugged by FDR. In today's episode of History, we examine this fateful encounter. Join us. <laughs> Alright, three, two, one, go. Okay. Well, hello, Gerald. <laughs> <laughs> three, two, one, go. Okay. Hello, Gerald. Hello. Uh, I'm glad to have you here. Um, I heard that you were wanting to know what my grandfather saw that night. Yeah, I want you to tell me exactly what your grandpa saw. <laughs> Dang, I don't like doing that line over and over again because it's so hard to do for me. You have like, uh, that's the point. I don't look like a hood. I'm looking back this way, I can't like. You got like a big gold joint. Why can't I be smoking weed on your, on your uh, porch? 